On January 31st, 2025, absolute tragedy happened in a hyperbaric clinic in Michigan. Hyperbaric chamber exploded and took a life of a five-year-old boy. His mother was injured in an accident. There are no words that can describe the pain and my heart goes to the family, to clinic staff, and to everyone affected by this terrible accident. Now, the situation raises a very important question. Is hyperbaric therapy safe? In my opinion, hyperbaric therapy is very safe when safety protocols are followed. There are different types of safety protocols for different types of chambers. There are multi-place chambers with several people inside the chamber. There are monoplace chambers that are pressurized with 100% oxygen. There are monoplace chambers that are pressurized with air and soft shell chambers fall into this category. Different safety protocols will be in place for different kinds of chambers. What we need to understand that the moment we deal with oxygen, we have to be very careful. Oxygen by itself is not flammable, which means just oxygen will not produce fire. However, if there is an ignition spike in the oxygen-rich environment, it can lead to a fire that will propagate very fast and will be difficult to contain. In a hyperbaric chamber that is pressurized with 100% oxygen, of course, we have oxygen-rich environment. And we believe that those were the chambers used in the facility in Michigan. We don't know about the details of this accident, so I will not comment more. However, I would like to bring your attention to different safety protocols. Safety protocols for a soft hyperbaric chamber that is pressurized with air will be different. However, we need to remember that soft shell chambers that are pressurized with air are often used in conjunction with oxygen concentrators. Oxygen concentrators are special machines that take air, separate oxygen from nitrogen, concentrate oxygen, and through the mask, it will be delivered to the person inside a hyperbaric chamber. Usually, a person gets about 60 to 70% oxygen when oxygen concentrator is used. Oxygen concentrator also is an oxygen-rich environment. Therefore, there are specific safety measures that need to be in place, and I'd like to tell you about them. First, never place your oxygen concentrator near flames, near source of heat, and that includes candles, stoves, radiators, but also red light therapy panels, which are often placed close to oxygen concentrators. Keep it in a very well ventilated room. Maintenance on oxygen concentrators is very important. There are filters that are used and these filters, like any filter, will collect dust. Dust can spike an ignition in an oxygen rich environment. Therefore, filters need to be changed and normal maintenance needs to be done. And also these oxygen concentrators, they have an expiry date on them. So don't use them past their expiry date. Make sure you replace your oxygen concentrators. Their shelf life is generally shorter than a shelf life of your hyperbaric chamber. Thirdly, think of what you put on your skin, especially your face, where you'll have your mask with oxygen. Don't use makeup and don't use petroleum and alcohol-based creams. You can use water-based lotion, that would be okay. Clothing. Go in a hyperbaric chamber always in cotton clothing. There's a lot less probability that it will spike an ignition. And things and objects that we take with us into a hyperbaric chamber. Those have been a subject of a discussion for a very long time. I think now it's time that we really take it seriously. Don't take things with you that can spike an ignition. I'll give you examples. Children might take their uh, toys, for example, little cars, and they start using those cars. Very easily can spike an ignition. Tablets, computers. Ask if those are approved 
to use under pressure in an oxygen-rich environment and have a safety plan in place. So I recommend to have a fire extinguisher and also make sure that every member of your household knows how to turn off an oxygen concentrator and how to use um, a fire extinguisher. Nothing happened yet with oxygen concentrators that are being connected to soft shell hyperbaric chambers. It doesn't mean that we shouldn't take safety precautions. Let's honor the tragedy that happened in Michigan with making sure that we use hyperbaric therapy responsibly, safely. Every session that will be done in a hyperbaric chamber should follow the safety protocols. I put together a list of things that should not be taken inside a hyperbaric chamber. It's available for you in the video description. And if you know someone who is using hyperbaric chamber, please send this video to them because awareness and education can save lives.